Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the difference between the fixed and flexible exchange rate system. Let's have a look into this. Move to the basic difference between the fixed exchange rate and flexible exchange rate. You could see that the fixed exchange rate system is where the government of a nation would be deciding the exchange rate. So here comes the role of government. Role of government is identified. Or this is important. At the same time, in the case of flexible exchange rate system, this is dependent on the market forces of demand and supply when it comes to the currency market. So it depends upon the market forces. The market forces would be adjusting and readjusting with each other and thus the flexible exchange rate system would be working. Who is the deciding authority here? In the case of fixed exchange rate system, as I have already told you, the central government would be deciding everything. The central government would be fixing the rate and it would determine everything here. But what about the flexible exchange rate? As I have already told you, the market forces of demand and supply. This would decide whether the exchange rate should increase or decrease. Coming to the need for maintaining foreign reserve. In the case of fixed exchange rate system, foreign reserves need to be maintained. And here, as I've told you, it is the government that plays a role. And the government maintains the foreign reserves. for the better working of fixed exchange rate system. But when it comes to the flexible exchange rate system, you don't need to maintain foreign reserve. Why? Because everything would be working on the basis of the adjustment between the demand and the supply and for the very same reason there is no need to maintain foreign reserves in flexible exchange rate system again what is the impact on currency when it comes to fixed exchange rate system and flexible exchange rate system here too you have got the differences in the case of fixed exchange rate system the currency would be devalued and if any changes take place in the currency, it would be revalued. So what is devaluation? It means some deliberate effort. Effort to reduce the value of currency. What about this is one as devaluation? And in the case of revaluation, the opposite. This is a deliberate attempt to increase the value of the currency. And in the case of flexible exchange rate system, since we have to deal with the adjustment between the demand and supply forces, we will be dealing with not devaluation and revaluation. Here it would be appreciation and depreciation. And what is depreciation? Depreciation means automatic fall in the value of currency. And this is automatic. 
and in the case of appreciation there is an automatic increase in value of currency again this is automatic now involvement of government bank do we need to have a government bank and its involvement in the case of fixed exchange rate system yes there occurs a need for government here we need here we need government role of government is there and gov role of government bank is there and this government bank would be determining the rate of exchange what about the flexible exchange rate system you don't need a government bank because all would be considered by the market forces the market forces of demand and supply would be adjusting and readjusting with each other so as to have a have an exchange rate in the economy which we call as a flexible exchange rate for the very same reason we don't have a bank here or we don't need a bank here moving to the next concept or next uh, basis on which we can differentiate between or distinguish between fixed exchange rate system and flexible exchange rate system this is the impact on bop and bop stands for the balance of payment balance of payment okay so in the case of flexible exchange rate system uh, this will be causing a deficit which cannot be adjusted which cannot be adjusted and what about the case with the flexible exchange rate system in the case of flexible exchange rate system whether it is a deficit or there is a surplus this would become automatically adjusted as a result of involvement in the Uh, involvement of the market forces of demand and supply that's all regarding the topic of discussion thank you for watching you can like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos also you can join our free telegram community where you can discuss your doubts i'll be providing the link of that in the description box also you can download the learn economy app for that also i'll be providing the link in the description box that's it for today thank you for watching and kindly do consider this channel for liking sharing as well as subscribing thank you